head back into Patrick's garden. Last week we showed you mm -hmm. his trip to the Glass Farm Nursery to buy some flowers. So Patrick, what are you doing this week? Well, since we bought the flowers, we've got to put them in the ground. Good and, point. Uh, so they look pretty in the yard. So we try to do that. And here's what we did to try to make it a success. One of the things that you'll notice when you pick out a flat of flowers and color and the individual trays, you'll see an individual little marker that'll tell you basically what kind of flower you're getting and how to plant it and what kind of sunshine, if you need full sunshine, part or a little sunshine to make sure that it thrives in the best conditions. What I'm going to do is just dig a little hole, make sure that you get the dirt good and soft and supple and keep it from having any real clumps. When you want to take one of these plants out, you just can't jerk them out. You need to pinch the bottom of the pot. Pinch it like that and then gently take it out to where everything comes out without losing a lot of dirt and ripping the plant. When you're putting in the plant in the soil, once again, everything should be good and loose and moist in here too. And since we just had a recent rain, we're in pretty good shape. You stuck in, make sure it gets nice and vertical. And you can kind of tap in the excess dirt. Make sure it stands good and tall. Put the mulch around it and you're set. After about 30 minutes, you kind of finish your little flower bed, and uh, hey, this is a great little weekend, little project to include not only yourself, but the kids as well, and then they get a sense of accomplishment, and they'll get to see how everything starts to grow over the next several weeks. Well, earlier in the day, we made a Facebook post so viewers could sign up to win a beautiful flower just like this, Amanda Villa. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, it is. Look at that. Just yes. running up the trellis. And uh, yep. this is a great plant that's pretty hardy and uh, got the beautiful blooms. And at Glass Farm Nursery, they have them in pinks and, oh, and reds so and different colors. And they have a huge variety. But uh, we have a and winner, don't we? We do. I think a lot of people must like this plant because more than 900 people wow. signed up to win it. But alas, there can be only one. Congratulations tonight to Stacy Marie. You've won a beautiful Mandevilla plant just like this one. Pick it up at the Glass Farm Nursery at 8241 US 11. That's in Rising Fawn, right? Yeah, it's just about four miles south of Trenton. So if you head to Trenton and get off the uh, exit right on Highway 11, travel four miles south. You can't miss it just to your right. And they have great color. They have a yes. lot of flats. And they also have some weekly specials. So awesome. you can find one of these and some other color to make your yard look beautiful. That's right. And Stacy's actually going to be able to choose from three. And Patrick, mm -hmm. do you have any idea what you're going to be doing next week in your garden? Yeah, we're probably going to be working with some strawberries. Ooh. And possibly getting our garden ready for the planting of the vegetables. Ooh, so, all the stuff that the newsroom loves because mm -hmm. he'll bring it in then. It sounds so good. So we'll be good working on that next couple of weeks. Fantastic. And everybody stick around. We've got more Prime News at 7 coming up.